All right guys, I wanted to quick show you how to remove a bad LED if you have one in your LED strip and then um, how to splice them back together. So this is just an example. I just did this actually. Um, I had a bad LED, which I'll show you right here. As you can see it's got, it got, something got fried in there. I had to cut this out and replace it. I just want to show you quick how I did that. It's so easy to do, I wanted to show you. So first thing you're gonna need a soldering iron and um, some solder. I'm, I'm just gonna grab a small piece of solder here. And what really helps is some flux. So you got some paste flux, this will really help. So kind of show you what I do here, how I set this up. Okay, so the first thing you do, let's say this is a bad LED right here, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut this LED out. We'll go ahead and cut it. So you see we're gonna cut really close to it. Cut that one and we'll cut this one. So we've cut out the bad LED here. Notice we've left a lot of copper there and I'll show you why that is. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to solder these two pieces together. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the arrow is pointing the same direction on both. That's the data direction for these LEDs. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna overlap the copper a little bit like I'm showing here, and that's how you're gonna solder it. A lot of times I like to actually stick, if the LED is got sticky on it, I like to stick it right to the surface I'm working with, like this. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're going to put some flux on there in order to make it nice and sticky. All right, so once I've done that, take my soldering iron and my piece of solder, and I'm no soldering expert, so you know, don't mind me, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna apply solder to these joints. Now you're gonna see that it's gonna stick to those pads fairly well. We're just gonna cover both. And what we're doing there is we're actually connecting the two strips together. Okay, so if we look close, you can see that we've bridged the copper on all three. So now that's connected again. We've we've repaired that. Gotten rid of the bad LED right there, and we spliced it in place. And that's literally all there is to it. Uh, anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, peace.